but it's a very small country, so it's easy to. Thank you very much um, to the organization and to you, George. And please get the book. He's selling some of those beautiful and this beautiful anthology. Show it, show it. And actually, I'm gonna read the poem that's in the book, the follow-up, and then I do a little homage to the Hudson River. And we all have Steve Dalashinsky in our heart, of course. It's, he was always here every year. So in this poem, the first one is Tidal Connection, and it's for Yuko Otomo and uh, Karen. As they have for 475 million years here at Plum Beach, New York, the Limulus Polyphemus emerge from the depth of the ocean. The moon-driven females spawn and lay their eggs 15,000, 64,000. The males in tow hitching a ride to spray shorebirds caviar, refueling after a 9,000 miles journey. This symbiosis, this reliable emergence brings peace and perspective to be continued. And I continued it. Epibions. Who is an armless epibion? How to become a skin individual on this planet or any other? Observations generate questions and questions lead to discovery. As I was intentionally eavesdropping on the ocean, this I heard. Now that they are looking so far into the galaxies, they are going to realize that actually contain all the answers. A laughing gull acquiesced loudly. I made a note of it. Returning to the epibion question, I observed the relationship between barnacles and sleeper limpets on Limulus polyphemus, also known as horseshoe crab, and learned that the relation appears to be facultative rather than obligatory. Piles of beautiful, beautiful sleeper limpets. Crepidula fornicata, which means fornicating sleeper snails, can be anchored on the Limulus shells, though when the 18th century Swedish savant Linnaeus classified and named them, he probably didn't fathom nor imagine the complexity of this congregation. The group of individuals are often found hipped up and fastened together with the larger, older females below and the smaller, younger males on top. As the heap grows, the males turn into females, making them sequential hermaphrodites. To be continued. Next year. And now, an homage to the Hudson River that is dedicated to Betsy Damon. I 
cannot drink your water anymore. We cannot eat your fish anymore. We cannot swim in your water anymore. My caritag, shatimag, you still flow. I fail your flow, I fail your flow. I hope less, I hope less and fill your flow. My hydrological cycle, primeval waters, primordial oysters, with the bonobos following the Congo trails, waking, walking, wading, dwelling from canopy to water, defying that water was ubered by an asteroid or comet but steamed out 4.3 billion years ago. Hope is not a strategy. Hope is a belief. Water was already here. Imminent, not transcendent. The crucible of non-living and living worlds. Feel, flow. Feel, flow. Feel, flow. Feed flow on the menu du jour, life's origin, serving primordial soup on original seabed paired with water to restore the intimate relationship with life. Feel flow, feel flow, mahi karita. Shatemak, Mahi, Kanitak, Shatemak.